Back here on the end zone and back into the highlights we go. Calhoun City on the road up in Chattanooga, Tennessee tonight. Our good friends from WDEF sending us these highlights as Calhoun City faced Notre Dame. And no, it's not that Notre Dame team, even though they have the same colors and the same mascot. Guys, there's like a million other combinations you could go with. Why did you do that? Anyway, Calhoun City taking it to the Fighting Irish here. That is JoJo Gray handing off Treshawn Cooper going up top. Tyrese Quinn with the pitch and catch for a first down. And then later, Keshawn Parker is going to finish it off for the touchdown. Turn up, City. Wildcats your winners. 35-14 on the road at Cheers, Cheers for old Notre Dame. Could have been the Fighting Shamrocks. Something different. Anything. Genuine. Anything. Let's go to Baldwin in Oklahoma tonight. And, well, this was kind of a weird game. Baldwin got the lead. Oklahoma came back. John Swinney, your quarterback here, uh, sort of pitching around a little bit. Oklahoma, remember last week, hung around with a tough Shannon team. But tonight, Baldwin did get the win in a, a really weird game. But uh, the Bearcats do win 24-14 over Oklahoma. Nanawaya Warriors at Montgomery County. Boy, Nanawaya put on the pain All tonight. Warriors. All Chris Smith early on here ah. from Montgomery County. Chris is going to rumble out for a 10 yard game following the blocking. Smart. That would set up his own six points right here. Chris is going to get on into that end zone. Get, get off me, he says. Yep. Nina Y with the lead early. Defense came up big for the Warriors. She's loving it. All Nanawaya all the time. They beat Montgomery County 56 to 6 nice. on the road. Good win for Nanawaya. How about Vardaman? Larry Gans Rams at 5 and 1. Brandon Washington, by the way, had four touchdowns tonight and two picks. Impressive. Rams win 34 0. West Lowndes also impressive on the road as they win 34 0 at Faulkner. Thrasher over Hamilton 40 to 14. French Camp shuts out Nick Adams 47 0. Knox Spader falls to Sebastopol 14 0. TCPS winners at home over Macon Road 39 12. Columbus Christian falling to Newton County Academy 46 19. Calhoun falls to North Sunflower 60 32. Strider shuts out Hebron 48 0. And Victory falls just short to New Life Christian 24 20. When we return, we will be back into the highlights and the scores from all over the area when we return. Back here on the end zone, we're going to cut it with some more highlights. <laughs> Go yeah, right into Heritage the Starkville. <laughs> right into the Academy of Heritage in Starkville. Check this out. <laughs> Here's the top plate of it. What is what in the what? name of Noah Methvin's pass to Cody Futrell? Let's take a look at I want to see it again. It's picked on. No, it's, no, it's not. not. Wait a minute. And Soccer. No, it's not. Football. He catches wow. it. It's what a, a catch. Game. What a catch. Check that out. But here, Heritage gets the answer on the wacky play. 50 yards for Dante Gray. Dante's going to rumble, rumble. Can he get to the sticks? No, but he's inside the five. He's going to set up his own score. Touchdown for Dante Gray. They go up 13-7. Heritage is your winner, 26-7. to Good win for the Patriots. Yeah, good win for the Patriots over the balls. Let's go to Lincoln Academy and Winston Academy. This was a defensive slugfest early on. And I continue to sing the praise of Andy Green and Winston Academy. This is a Patriots team that just, they're getting after it, and they are playing, playing with their hearts at it. They have been so impressive to start the year. This is a League Academy team that's really good, and Winston just couldn't get that offense going enough in this game. So Winston falls, but not for the faint of heart. They played tough. Leak wins 13-6 over Winston to a different game that had more points. Well, as I was going to say, that one was 13-6. This one, the offense was not hard to find here. Watch this throw from Ken, uh, Ken Dill's going to find Dowell Tabor. Eee, might have hit the turf. Who <laughs> cares? Ref rules it a catch. Be with it. That would set up, knocking on the door, John Carver Middleton. He's going to scoot on in for the touchdown. Big score here early. That would, Winona would, or I should say Oak Hill would go for two. They don't get it. It's 14 13. Ensuing possession, reverse handoff Tricky. to Walker Pearson. Look at the Leonard Fournette, number seven, <laughs> charging down the sideline. There's no one in sight but the ref and the ambulance, but he didn't get it. All the way for the score nope. 70 plus yards. It's close one. Back and forth throughout 49 42. Winona Christian with the W in the, on the road. Good win for Junior Graham Stars. And we go over into West Alabama. Aliceville hosting Pickens County. Good little county rivalry between these two teams. On a fourth down punt here, Zach Thomas wanted a punt, but no, now he's going to scramble and try to get away. Well, that's 
That's not a good idea. But somehow, Zach actually gets away and picks up the first down as he's still running, and he gets past Lord. the stick. So Alexville now, it's their turn on offense, and the guy they're going to go to is DeMontez Hinton. That's a pretty good guy to go to. Finds the hole, hits the seam, see ya. 70 yards for the touchdown. It's all Yellow Jackets tonight, 52-12 to over the Tornadoes of Pickens County. Other Alabama score with Gordo. Another good win over Sipsy Valley, 48-13. South Lamar, the Stallions shutting out Curry. Not so spicy. 14 nothing. Vernon defeats Barry on the road. Good win for the Bulldogs, 21-6. And Winfield topping Sullivan, 28-6. When we return, we will wrap up the show and look forward to Week 7 here on the end zone. Week 6 is in the books. Another win for Pontotoc. Columbus, your winners. By the way, Columbus plays Tupelo next Friday. Uh, we don't even have to say anything else. It's going to be our Carl Logan Toyota Game of the Week for next Friday. And Houston, another big win tonight. Knox to me, we're keeping your helmet there because... Single tier. Oh, a tough night victories. for the Tigers. But a fantastic Week 6. We can't wait for Week 7. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Watch us again. And if Pontotoc keeps winning, he'll keep wearing the helmet. <laughs> we hope They're 5-0 oh when I've worn it. We hope you have a great weekend, everyone. Juice them. The WCBI End Zone Show with Robbie Donahoe and Tom Ebel is brought to you by OCH Regional Medical Center, Carl Hogan Toyota, East Mississippi Community College, and Max South.